You've heard it time and time again, introducing your child to a second language when they are young has countless benefits. But if you are like me and you do not speak a second language, that can seem like a very daunting task. We are just starting to introduce Spanish to our three children who are three, two, and one. Oh yeah. And we're gonna talk about five very simple things that you can do in your home to just start introducing your child to a second language especially if you don't know it yourself. Stick around. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every Hola, everybody, and welcome to the Carnahan fam. If you are new here to our channel, we want to give you a big bienvenidos or welcome. My name is Kaylee Carnahan. I'm a mother of three children ages three, two, and one. If you haven't already, we want to invite you to hit subscribe down below and join our YouTube family where we are going through parenthood, just trying to be as intentional as we possibly can to make sure that our children get the best start that they can and really thrive throughout life. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit subscribe down below because we would love to have you join us. That being said, today's video, how to introduce your child to a second language, is a perfect demonstration of intentional parenting because there is no way your child is going to get exposed to a second language without your intentional exposure to that second language. Now, we're not doing all of the in-depth why you should do it today. You're here because you already know the benefits of introducing your child to a second language early on. Right now, we are going over five very, very simple things that you can do at home to create a language-rich environment with more of a bilingual opportunity. If you haven't seen it already, our most popular video on our channel is our How to Teach Your Baby to Talk video where we go over 10 strategies that you can do to create a language rich environment in your home in your native language. Now a lot of those techniques are actually going to apply really really well with introducing a second language to your child. So really you can use all of those strategies in that video in the second language that you're trying to expose your child to. But a lot of those could prove to be more difficult for parents who don't speak a second language themselves. Like my husband and I, we learned Francais in high school and then it kind of died there. And not only that, we decided we wanted to introduce our children to Spanish anyway. So that being said, we're starting at ground zero. And if you are like us, starting at ground zero with introducing your child to a second language, then these five very simple strategies to integrate that second language into your home are going to be perfect for you. Little baby steps. Okay, and finally, before we get into all of these strategies in our video today, we do want to say thank you to our sponsors, Hobby Hobby. Believe it or not, Hobby Hobby was actually the inspiration for us to introduce a second language to our children because when we saw what their books had to offer, we realized that it was such a phenomenal resource to be able to introduce a second language to our children that it felt more doable as a parent. It felt like with my intentional effort put together with their resource, it really was possible for us to be able to adequately introduce a second language to our toddlers. I will share some more details about Hobby Hobby here soon, but in the meantime, just wanted to tell them thank you for sponsoring our video and we have absolutely loved using your books in our home. That being said, let's move on to our five strategies for how to introduce a second language to your child. All right, strategy number one for how to introduce a second language to your child is actually for you, the parent, especially if you are not a native speaker or maybe you feel like you know a handful of words, but it's not coming naturally to you. This one's for you. And that is provide yourself with a cheat sheet or even some labels around the house. So after several months of wanting to start this endeavor of introducing a second language to our children, I wasn't making very much progress because I kept getting stumped on not being able to remember the word. To be honest, I'm not studying. I don't have the time to sit down at night and do my second language app. I needed something quick, I needed something visual, and that is why I created these little cheat sheets and a few labels for the house. We start off with the cheat sheets and I just put these quick, simple cheat sheets with like six to 10 targeted vocabulary words. So I put the greetings and farewells cheat sheet by the front door and the kitchen words 
in the kitchen and the bathroom words in the bathroom and the family words in the living room. You get what I'm saying. So one, when I see the cheat sheets, I remember, oh, change that word to Spanish. So your children are getting exposed to that word in the second language more often. Number two, so when I'm getting ready to say something to the kids, if I can't quite remember how to say it in Spanish, I can always look at that quick cheat sheet to be able to just give myself a little refresher on how to say it. Cheat sheets gave me the labels and me the words to be able to expose my children to the second language more often, which is the key to that language acquisition. All right, next up, strategy number two for how to introduce your child to a second language is going to be read together. And this is where our wonderful sponsor, Hobby Hobby, comes in. While there are a lot of stories that offer dual language exposure for your child, Hobby Hobby's books have been by far the most engaging, the most accessible, and just the most entertaining option for our children. The way it works is their reading wand right here can tap on absolutely anywhere in any of the book and you can change the settings on the pen to speak in just English or bilingual both. That's the setting that we have ours on right now. In my home. En mi casa. El carrito de carrera. Go-kart. Go-kart. A total of 24 books, they cover a variety of content, including basic first words and phrases, familiar words like words in their home, things that go, types of careers, to even more complex things like budgeting, diversity, cultures, self-image, big emotions. I mean, the content that is in Hobby Tobby's books is really good stuff. So to dive deeper into our bilingual experience, we love to spend time in books that support bilingual education. Now again, there are a plethora of books out there that have both English and a second language, whatever it may be. But for me, without the pronunciation, it was honestly really, really tricky to read the books with my kiddo. But thanks to Hobby Hobby, they have made that a whole lot easier for both parents and kids. All right, next up on our list of strategies for how to introduce your child to a second language is going to be focusing on high frequency words. So what are the things that you say most often in your house? Focus on those words first because you're going to have the greatest opportunity to utilize those words. Some of the words that we're focusing on that are high frequency in our house is number one, counting. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Uno. Dos. Cuatro. Tres. Tres. Cinco. Cuatro. Cinco. Tres. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho, Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Counting is a very simple place to start because there are so many opportunities to count with your little one. And not only is that good for their own cognitive development, it is a really great opportunity to enrich their language as well. Same goes with color words. Do you want to wear the shirt that is rosado or blanco? So that is a really simple way to integrate the vocabulary as well as greeting. Saying hello, saying goodbye, good morning, good night. Hola, sissy. <laughs> Adios, mommy. Adios, mama. Adios, Christian. And even family names. Hermana, can you go give this to your papa, please? <laughs> Hermano and hermana, it is time to go inside. Say, see, sí, mama. See, sí, mama. mama. You're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck, if you will, by focusing your attention on modifying those words into your target language. Once your child has acquired those ones and you understand that their receptive language, so what they can understand, has got those high frequency words, even if their expressive language or what they can say isn't quite there yet, you can totally move on to different high frequency words or start introducing more words. Right, on that same note, strategy number four for how to introduce your child to a second language is going to be modifying functional words. Now, you might be asking, what exactly are functional words? Functional words, when it comes to speech development for your child, whether it be in your native or target language, are words that, when produced, have a function. So when your baby says, up, or arriba, probably easier to say in English, not gonna lie. Something happened. They say the word and there is a reward. There's a reason that those words are easily some of the best first words for your child. It's because they get that reward when they say it. Other functional words would be yes and no, see si and no. Would you like some milk? See, si. the child gets milk. Would you like mas? or are you todo listo? If they say mas, they have the opportunity to eat more. If they say todo listo, then they'll be clearing their plate. There is a function that is associated with the word. Do you want mas or are you todo listo? Todo 
listo. You're total listo? Okay, you're dismissed. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Go take care of your plate. And of course, with young toddlers, we are always talking about the bathroom. Totalisto. Totalisto. Okay, go take care of your plate, please. Okay. I'm total. You're total listo. Okay. Hey guys, before we leave, we all need to go to the Indorado. Headed to the toilet. They're associating that word with the function going to the restroom. Between your functional words and your high frequency words, your child is going to have the opportunity to develop a lot of vocabulary words very quickly because of the amount of exposure. And finally, the last very simple way to introduce a second language to your child is going to be by playing games with them. Playing familiar games like I spy and red light, green light. I spy an elefante. You found the elefante. I spy. What do you spy? Pablo. A pail? Ah! Ah! Verde. Luz Rojo. Luz Verde. Luz Rojo. Games like Red Light, Green Light, I Spy, and Little Mouse are some of our favorites for reintroducing some of those high frequency vocabulary words and giving them a playful way to practice them. Remember that these games are not tests. They're very stress-free ways of introducing and repeating these vocabulary words with your kiddos. So you are doing a lot of the language modeling. And if they think the mouse is behind the greenhouse and they can't remember verde, but they touch the greenhouse, you say, oh, you think Think the mouse is behind the verde house. Let's see if the mouse is behind the verde house. Little mouse, little mouse, the, are you in the azul? Azul house? No. Nope. Are you ready? Let's I'm all do it together. Little, little mouse, little mouse, are you in the amarillo house? I use this play-based strategy with my kindergartners all of the time when teaching sight words. And you would be amazed with how well children are able to acquire information when their stress levels are lowered because the pressure is taken off of them. It's not a test. It's fun, it's engaging, and you guys are just playing a game. Oh, and before I forget, Hobby Hobby Books are also a great place to play I Spy. All right, I feel like that went really quick today. Those are our five strategies for how to very simply create a language-rich environment in your home for introducing a second not just your first, but a second language to your child. And again, if you haven't even seen our first video on how to teach your baby to talk, and your child is, I'd probably say less than three, or has a vocabulary of a thousand words or less, I would definitely recommend checking out that video as well because that video will give you a whole 10 different things that are actually more simple because it's in your first language on how to just create that language rich environment in your home already. So if you're already doing this, you're gonna want those 10 strategies as well. But I hope that these five strategies for introducing a second language to your child help you to keep it simple, make it more manageable, and just be more enjoyable for you as a parent to take on that opportunity to be intentional and introduce your child to a second language. I know it's something that I want for our family. Like, I want to be able to speak Spanish. I want our kids to be able to speak Spanish, but I know it's not gonna happen unless we put in the effort. And the best time for my kids is now. And my 28-year-old brain is having a hard time, but hopefully my three, two, and one-year-old brains can have a better Better shot at learning it than I do. But I'm not giving up on me either. Come back in a couple months and ask me how I'm doing. Hold me accountable to this. I am learning. Okay, I think that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit subscribe down below and turn on that little notifications bell so that you can see when we post our new videos because you, you don't wanna miss them. It's good stuff. Anyway, join our YouTube family down below. Enjoy introducing a second language to your child and maybe even to yourself. And we will catch you again next time. I know how to say it in French. That's okay with me today. Avoir un bonne nuit. Have a good night. Adios. Goodbye.